Yeah, it's Sarah. Alright, so for today's video, we will be diving into my gym, closet, workout, haul, is it a haul? Basically everything I have or everything that I own, which I wear for the gym. So we will be having a lot of categories, um, I guess sports bras, leggings, tops, and that's about it. And how I'll tackle this video is very simple. First, I'm going to tackle everything by brand or by collection, and then I will let you know how much I got it, um, where I got it, and last but not least, if I would recommend that you guys buy it. Simple, right? Okay, so now let's move on to the video. First up, we are going to tackle the sports bras. And for sports bras, my current favorite, and I'm not even lying, I'm not even exaggerating when I say this, but my current favorite right now are from the shop Running Girl on Amazon. So these are just, they're good. They're perfect, they're good for your money's worth. I'd say, yes, I would recommend them. Um, so these are from the brand Running Girl and they are from Amazon. I believe I got these for $19 or $18. Um, and well, as you can see the design, it's, it has that diagonal whoosh, one-sided thing going on. The pads are perfect, they're amazing. If, you, if ever you toss them in the laundry, I mean, the pads wouldn't be removed. And yeah, very, very, still very good. No loose seams or anything. And I'd say the support is very good as well. So would I recommend that you guys buy this? I got it in white and in red. Would I recommend that you guys buy this? Well, yes, I would. Only because I don't know any other brands that have this style, which is just as cheap or cheaper for that matter, without um, sacrificing quality. So yes, I would definitely recommend that you guys buy these. These are very nice and they will last you a long time. Also, they are, I think, medium support, medium to high support. Next up, we have from Gymshark. Okay, so I have two collections from Gymshark. One is the Seamless Collection and the other is the Flex Collection. So let's start off with the Flex Collection Sports Bras. Um, for the Flex Collection Sports Bras, they're basically like your typical sports bras. What I don't like about them is if ever you toss them in the laundry or in the washing machine, the bra pads would come out, would come off, and sometimes well, back in the Philippines, um, if ever you get it done by the laundromat, they might lose it and therefore you won't be able to find it anymore. So I would definitely, that is definitely a con for me. Just because if ever the pads are out, your, your ladies, your, the thing that pops out over in your lady area is very, very obvious. So that's the bad thing there. But if you get your laundry done at home, then I don't think that should be an issue. Um, as for the design, it's pretty typical. It's, you know, your generic sports bra. It has a thick under bra, under boob wire, or it's not really a wire garter, which really hugs it. What I don't like about the Flex collection for both the sports bra and the leggings is that, well, I don't know, maybe it's because of the garter that they both have, but it just really squeezes your fat in. It squeezes them, it squeezes the fat you have in your tummy area in, therefore making you look fatter or making you feel a bit more insecure. Um, but if you're very lean, then I would say go for it. These are very nice um, gym apparel. Something I noticed though with Gymshark over the past few years is that they've become more and more expensive. And I know it's in small increments, but still, for someone like me who's very stingy or who, who's very careful with her own money, that's like, that, that kind of turned me off. But would I recommend these? Would I recommend Gymshark, the Flex Collection? Probably not. I wouldn't recommend them at all. Um, however, if you really do wanna 
the end with a hype, maybe buy one outfit and see how you like it. And if you really do like it, then by all means buy the other outfits. I went on a splurge, I went on a spree and I bought the three um, sports bras at once <laughs> because I was a fan. So yeah, but definitely I don't regret them though. If anything, it sort of like motivates me to lose more body fat. But let's just see how that works. So yeah, so I got these from the Gymshark um, official website. And they are, I would say, not recommended. <laughs> they, they're for fun if you guys want to try them out, like I said. Okay, so moving on. Next up, we have... Oh, okay, so this is a nice bread. Okay, wait, but before that, um, here is the Gymshark Seamless from the Seamless Sports Bra from the Seamless Collection. This one is in red. I love this color. It's... Oh my goodness, it's just so, it's so good. I love this color so much. Um, would I recommend the Seamless Collection over the Flex Collection? Yes, definitely, 100%. Despite the price, I would, yes, you should definitely get that. Definitely. It's expensive, but it's worth it. Same issue with the Flex legging, uh, Flex Sports Bra. Though. The pads fall off whenever you toss them in the washing machine, so. Other than that, the, the the cloth that they use for the sports bras are very nice and very um, absorbent for your sweat. And I don't know, I just love them. They're very nice. They're very pretty. So there. Next up, we have from an Australian brand. They are called Do You Even, and this is the only sports bra that I have from them. Well, I have two, but the other one doesn't really feel like a sports bra. But I'll show you that later. Next, we have this black sports bra which i don't know i don't even know what the collection is called but i love this i love this even the detail on it it's amazing it's amazing um the under bra garter is not that bad at all it's not too thick it's not too thin it has that very cute logo right in the middle and i love how it just pushes your girls up making you have more of a shape going on up there and with the strap I love how it doesn't go straight at the back which can get very boring sometimes it's actually tapered so it's like you have an, a halter sports bra top going on so it's kind of expensive though do you even is kind of expensive and another thing that's bad about do you even is that they don't ship to the Philippines same goes with German Shark. however I would definitely recommend that you guys buy this or try it out at least once in your life these will change your life. Oh, and as for the pads, they don't fall off. So that's good. It's good, good, good. Okay, let's go to the sports bras that I got from Philippine Band. And here we have Melenix. So this is from Melenix. It's an online shop in the Philippines. And I got this one for free. I don't know. There's really not much to say about this other than the fact that I really love it. There's no um, hole for your pads to fall out, but sometimes that can be seen as a con because I know some girls who are very meticulous about that. Like they want to really wash their pads. But other than that, I love it. This is great. It's it's quite honestly my longest Philippine brand sports bra. It's been with me the longest, and I still have it because I just really love it. It's been with me for two years, and it's just so cute and simple. So yeah, I don't know how much it costs because I got it for free, but if ever they still sell this, go ahead and buy it. It's definitely worth it. So there. Okay, next up, we have another one from Do You Even. I think this is a sports bra. Yeah, it is. It has a hole, but I just lost my pads. But yeah, this is another sports bra top I got from Do You Even. You know what, honestly, I feel like they were trying to copy Gymshark here because of the whole highlights of your curves and everything. I got this um, around last year in December and would I recommend that you guys buy this along with the leggings? Honestly, the only reason why I bought this is because I wanted to pair it with their leggings, which is the entire outfit. And well, I like that outfit. In general, the outfit is really nice. I would 10-10 recommend the outfit. 
but the style is getting kind of old so maybe if you're looking for style i wouldn't recommend it but if you're looking for the comfort and the quality and just feeling good during a workout then yes i would recommend it it's really really nice and good you know what since i already showed you guys the top i'll show you guys the legging as well which is right over here so this is the legging that goes along with the top three. Oh, okay key difference between the flex leggings from Gymshark and this outfit is that they have different um, garters, they have different bands. So hands down, this would win as the more flattering outfit compared to the flex leggings. I would recommend this. Um, so yeah, definitely worth it. This one is definitely worth it because it flatters your body. So. I guess that's all we have for the sports bras now. Oh wait, no, I have one more. I have one more and this... Guys, this is my favorite, favorite sports bra. I bought it from the Philippines. It's an overrun of Forever 21 and it only cost me 5 bucks or 250 pesos. It's this one right here. See this? It's an overrun. I just bought it online off of Instagram. I don't even remember the online shop which I bought it from. But basically, all you guys have to do for Instagram to look for overruns is look, go to the hashtag part of the search and type in hashtag forever21 overruns or like active wear overruns. There, active wear overruns. So, yes, I love this one. Maybe you might not find another one like this, but. It's just a testament to how you don't have to spend so much to look. Okay, so this is it. And obviously, I recommend it. Alright, so that's it for all of our sports bras. Next up, let's go for tops first. So for tops, I have these two are from JFit. Um, they are a Philippine brand. They have a, a physical store and I think they have an online store. Um, these are my favorite from JFit. And this is because I don't think I wear my the other designs. And even then, the, these aren't the styles which I usually go for. But I love the crop tops that they have for JFit. They, they're very... I don't know. I mean, sometimes I don't like them, but sometimes I do. It, it really, it really varies, but here they are. Um, honestly speaking, I don't know how much they are because I get them for free from JFit. But if you guys do want to have a discount, I do have a discount for that. I think it's Sarah C10 or Sarah 10. Um, no, I do not earn from this, but it is just a discount that I have for you guys. So yeah, there we go. Oh, this one is nice. This one, I love this one because it's black and it has this whole blue camo thing going on. So this is adorable. I love it. Okay, next up. Next up. I have two long sleeve working out tops which you wear on top of your sports bra. So this is, well it's Gymshark, it's the pink, and I don't know what collection this is. But yes, I love this. This is, I, I love this for the sole purpose that it's pink and it feels good and the quality is nice and I don't know how much this is because this is a gift however would I recommend it yes I would recommend that you guys buy this so yes there you go oh um this one it's from another UK brand it's not Gymshark but I believe people would consider them to be the cheaper alternative to Gymshark. This one is from My Protein UK. I got a long sleeve working out top and I think this was my first ever overseas like international um, gym apparel because I really 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 wanted something that was of good quality and long sleeves because honestly all of the online shops we have in the Philippines none of them have long sleeve working out tops. I don't know why. But yeah, this one is a lot cheaper. I forgot how much I bought it. And my protein always, always has discount codes. I'm not even kidding. Just sign up for their newsletter and they will always give you additional discount codes. 
but this one yes definitely i would recommend that you guys get one long sleeve working out top at least get one for your wardrobe and if you guys want to be cheap about it but want to have good quality then get from my protein because this is really good then i have these two right here okay you know what i don't really like uh sleeveless working out tops and i think that's why i love long sleeve working out tops because quite frankly i'm conscious about my arms i mean i am learning to love them lately but back then i was very conscious about them but these two tops this one is from nike and i don't know why but this one just, is just really so nice it's so flowy and it makes my shoulders look good um yeah it's great and this one is from adidas i love the color of this one i'm surprised and what i love about these two tops is that they make my shoulders look great and quite frankly i don't know if they look good because i work out or because of the clothes either way i really love them uh, i would recommend that you guys get these i don't know how much they are but the thing with Nike and Adidas, because they are big brands, for sure they're going to have sales and try to score these at the sales if you can. So there, definitely would recommend these. And these have been with me for like over a year and they're still pretty good. All right, next up for the top. Oh, I have this um, hoodie crop top from Gymshark. I think an online shop sent me this. It was Gym Stuff PH. They sell gym short items. And would I recommend this? Yes, I would because it's long sleeves and I love long sleeves. I think they're the best thing ever. And I, you would compare this up with some high waist leggings and you're good to go. Definitely would recommend these. Uh, take the truck. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is one of the few items I love from Chase Fit and it's their shorts. I love this. I, I, you know, I love this just for, you know, lounging around the house. It's really nice. It's really good. It's really comfy. And I love how the string is very thick. So, would I recommend this? Yes, I would. If they still sell it. Also, I have this cute, cute pink outfit. I got it from Gym Stuff shorts and a top it was it's like a t-shirt top though and i thought i had my reservations about this outfit because i don't really like t-shirt design stuff but i like this outfit i mean just wear a sports bra inside because it's essentially just a top and these shorts yes i would recommend these you know for some reason I like how I look in these, but I don't like how I look in the first or second generation flex leggings. Weird. Maybe it's the whole short and legging thing. Maybe because I look short in leggings, I don't know. But yeah, these are really nice. And these are very cute. Look at these shorts. They're adorable. Okay, so, so far, I think we're halfway done. And I think we're down to we're down to our leggings. Okay, so for the leggings, before we start with leggings, I want you guys to know that I think I'm broke because of them now. I'm kidding. No, but seriously, I want you guys to know that everyone has a different um, body shape. So what I like, you guys might not like, but I would definitely only recommend items that I do like. There. Okay, now moving on. So this was the pair of leggings I got from Do You Even. Um, this was supposed to be like uh, a pair with the black sports bra that I got from them. There's not much to say I didn't like it. I really did not like it. I'm actually thinking of giving this away, but I spent too much money on this to give it away. Next, we have, okay, since um, I didn't recommend them. So these are my Gymshark flex leggings like I mentioned earlier in the video I wouldn't recommend the flex leggings outfit in general because it just really pulls in all your fat in the middle of your body I mean if you're super lean then good for you but I'm not so I didn't like what it looked like on me um, however the quality of the cloth 
that they used in their leggings. It's so nice. It's so good. And uh, well, they last you a long time. That's another good thing. Definitely score these if you can get them on sale. But if not, try one outfit first and see if you will like it. Oh, another thing I realized with the Flex Leggings or Flex Outfit collection is that my butt looks small. Like, it looks small compared to um, when Caucasians use it or compared to when other IG models use it. And my butt, my, my hip uh, measurement is already 36 or 37. Last time I checked, um, and this was during the Star Magic Ball of 2017. So it makes me wonder how big these girls are. And it kind of made me reflect as to how much bigger I want to be and that I don't want that. I mean, I'm happy with myself. I'm happy with my body. So get these if you really want to try them out. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't buy everything from the collection. Okay, so this one though, this is again the cheaper version of Gymshark. It's from My Protein, and this is also the very first international uh, leggings that I got. I love these. For some reason, I love these. They look really nice. They, they're a bit different as um, they don't have the whole round butt thing going on, like something that's un the aligned that's under the butt. And surprisingly, the bands are a lot more forgiving than the bands from Gymshark. I don't know why, but seeing as I look better in these or I feel like I look better in these and they're cheaper than Gymshark, I would definitely, definitely recommend that you guys get this. Definitely. Next up, okay, so this one, I know this is 500 pesos because I inquired about these. This is from Pink Salmon. Uh, my friend gave me her leggings one time at the gym because my leggings broke. <laughs> so these are from Pink Salmon. They're basically like normal leggings and they're nice. They're buttery soft and for $10 for 500 pesos, yes, go buy them. Wear them around the house. Wear them to the gym. But just get them because they're really nice. Or you could use them to do errands. But don't wear very tight underwear with this because it's very fine as well. So it's kind of obvious you guard, the garter of your panty can be seen and everything. So wear this with caution. Next legging. All right, something from the Philippines. And this one is from Be Amazing. I'm pretty sure these are cheaper than any of my overseas leggings. And for the quality, I'm not mad. I mean, it's not, it's very different compared to like the Gymshark. Even let's go for something I wouldn't recommend. So the Be Amazing um, texture, the materials are very different from the Gymshark ones. And these are something I wouldn't recommend you guys. So see how, I don't know, it's just so stretchy and it's like made out of garter. I, okay, no, see, it's gone now because I use it that much. But it's just, different it's just this feels a lot sturdier compared to this one this one seems like if i really stretch it out it'll break um but other than that these are really good oh wait here there's a stitch that fell apart over here if you guys can see it but yeah other than that would i recommend these you know what i'm just gonna say it my butt looked good in these they look good in these and they look good in the gym. Would I recommend these? For the price, yes, I would. I will recommend these. These are very nice. I love the design. It's very simple. It's one color. There's a tiny design here around your ankles and it's high waist. So it's very cute. I love it. I love it. 1010 would recommend these. I don't know how much these are though because these were just sent to me. But I'm pretty sure they wouldn't be over a thousand. Okay, next up, oh, another something from a Philippine brand, Uvit Activewear, and this one, this one, the quality of this one, you guys, it's just amazing. It's 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 as good as Gymshark. It's as good as Gymshark, and it's so good. The only thing that disappoints me about this is that it's pitch black it's it's so black 
but the compression, because these have compression, are not bad at all. So that's the only thing I don't like about this. It's pitch black. Oh, it's designed in the UK, made in Taiwan. It's made out of nylon and spandex. Maybe that's why it feels very... It feels very buttery soft and it's so sturdy and I would definitely recommend this to anyone, especially if you can afford it. However, I wish they can come out with different colors. Other colors, not printed designs, please. Just other colors because these are so good. Okay, next up, something from Gymshark, which I recommend are their Seamless Collection. Not much to say about this. It's just really good overall. I, I mean, it's nice. It's nice. And if you're not bloated, if you actually feel thin, these can make you look, this can make your body even more flattering to look at. I love them. They're nice. They're high waisted. They're very clean looking. They're very, oh my goodness, just quality. Good quality. And the designs, considering that they're like, they look fragile, but they're not. They're really not. So yeah, definitely would recommend this in this collection. Next up, okay, these are from Amazon, and these are probably my most recommended leggings ever, 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 ever. And these are from Queenie K. Uh, I have nothing to say but good praises for this. Oh, except for this one. This is the my pink ombre leggings. Um, and they are from Running Girl. Super good, super nice. Though I don't think they're as nice as the ombre leggings of Gymshark. But I don't want to buy them anymore because every girl here in the States has them. So yeah, but this one, yes, I would recommend. I would recommend these. Especially because they're a fraction of the price of Gymshark. And if you guys just want to try out the trend, go get them. They're very nice. Alright, so back to the Queenie K leggings. I got three Queenie K leggings and this is because so many YouTubers would just suggest them, would rave about them and they love them and the hype is real. The hype is real. To be honest, when I first received them in the mail, I thought they were like, huh, this is it? That was my reaction, but then after wearing them over time, it's been two months, they are just, they are just great. They are just super nice. They're very, the material they're made out of is very high quality. The stitching is so, it's so firm. I love them and just for $20, like a thousand pesos each, they're not bad at all. I love them. I love them. Free shipping with Amazon Prime, by the way. So, and I'm a size small. By the way, when it comes to everything, I am an extra small in sports bras, small for tops, and a small for leggings. But lately, I've been going for extra small in leggings as well because sometimes I really like the tight, the tight feel around my thighs. So yeah. So, obviously, it goes without saying, I recommend these. I got them from Amazon. You can just type in Queenie K and then you will see all the leggings available. They have different colors, but these are the colors I uh, I am loving. Um, it's gray, the olive, and the red one. So, yes. So, I think that's it. Oh, by the way, this is the very last one that I'm going to show you guys, which I wear in the gym, and that is... My Castro Fit t-shirt! What? What? <laughs> okay, so this might be a bit underrated, but t-shirts, cloth t-shirts. Simply wear them to the gym if you want to wear them to the gym. Honestly, if you're starting out, you don't need to be fancy about the outfits that you wear. And just focus on the workout. Though I do understand that some girls or guys work out even better if they feel good about their workout. But for me, I mean, what if you don't have the money to buy clothes? Or what if you just don't have the time to go shopping? Or what if you're very cautious about spending your money that you can buy online cheap stuff, but you don't want to risk it? Or sometimes you can buy the cheap stuff, um, but you have to travel far. So sometimes all you guys really need is one sports bra, an underwear, 
whatever leggings you have or shorts and a plain t-shirt and you're good to go just focus on the workout and on your diet so yeah so there we are you guys um so that those are all of my clothes those are all of my clothes for the gym i don't mind repeating outfits because hello we're not all made out of money and i really like the clothes that i have all of them if you think about it i love all of the clothes that i have except for the flex leggings and that one do you even leggings that i have so there i hope you guys enjoy the video if you guys want to buy any of the outfits i mean you can go to their official website go on amazon um and try looking on instagram for overruns and i hope you guys had fun i hope uh this video was helpful to you was useful to you and if it was give this video a thumbs up and of course don't forget to subscribe and to leave a comment down below telling me what you guys loved about the video or if you guys have anything to say about the video that would be so so great or here's another thing if you guys know another good place that sells nice activewear items let me know i might just check them out so i guess that's all that i have to say guys have a nice, nice day. Bye!